start with Dave. Um, there's a, uh, two trains leave the station at 87.6 miles from the station. One is pink, the other one purple. The purple car has a bathroom. The pink car has a bar car. How will you help balance your budget? <laughs> By uh, walking the elephant and pitching to the rhinoceros. <laughs> office is a part of the whole law and justice system. And what you do to the sheriff, or don't do to the sheriff, what you do to the prosecutor, or don't do to the prosecutor, what you do to the superior court, or don't do to the superior court, affects the clerk very much, because it's, it's really an interwoven type of thing. So I always like to stress the case is, you need to do approximately the same to each one, unless we're completely out of balance right now, because the Im it impacts, uh, we impact each other. We have to take all comers. We can't decide to just take uh, just take divorces on odd months and, and do civil cases on even number of months. We have to take all comers. So what we're doing is try, uh, what we will be doing to balance our budget is we are going to reduce all staff by an hour or two hours so that we're not laying people off, putting them out in the streets, hurting the economy, and not have to be on employment insurance. And what we do then is uh, we, will have, we will look at the time in which we can close on Friday afternoons so that those people can work with that. Very good, thank you. Paul, well, same question. Pink car, purple car, how will you balance the budget? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure how, how we can do that without some, some serious soul searching about what we spend, what we buy, and where the revenue comes in. Uh, for me, it's, 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 it, I heard a quote that years ago that rising tide raises all boats. Similarly, the lower tide sinks us all, and I think we're in this together. And I, I think we have to put our shoulders together and come up with different ideas about how we, how we deliver government. And I think the public also has to understand that government costs money. And uh, in, in difficult times, the, the demand for services goes up. Uh, not only in my office, but all across the county. And I think the public has to understand that there's a need for all of us to come together to even raise taxes to make that happen in the media. So that's what needs to happen. Thank you. Well, as part of our appraisal process, one of the probably the most expensive things we do is the uh, we inspect one sixth of the county properties every year. That's about 20,000 properties have to have a physical inspection, commercial and residential. So I suppose the answer is when we get down to it, uh, you know, we haven't really suffered that yet, but uh, we'll just drive by faster on that inspection. A little quicker inspection. We have our, that will theft our uniformity measurements and everything else I talked about. You get to a point that you're just gonna, you know, just as Steve talks about the crime rate and that sort of thing, as, as we continue to cut back, it, you know, there is an effect on the quality of what the services that we provide inevitably is going to happen. I don't want to use this. The great fear is nobody wants to talk about real change and whether you need taxes or not. It's a great fear. My gosh, if I say we raise tax, I'm not advocating a tax increase. My job as the sheriff is to say, what does this look like? And after you've cut and you've cut out services, uh, you're down to people. If I have less people on the road, that means a longer response time. That means uh, the, the amount of work we can do in a reasonable time decreases. And uh, there's another side of this that I don't think is brought up very often, is that the justice system and the government in general uh, has a direct correlation uh, to the economic development. Who in this, who is going to build a home here, uh, start a business, put your kids in school if you're not safe? So we're, the, the safety factor of this, uh, what happens on these budget cuts is going to directly impact the citizens. Also, when crime rates go up, accidents go up, your insurance rates go up, your business insurance goes up. I think that's something we need to have a battle on. Okay. Thank you. Okay. In terms of 
just continuing to work on balancing the budget. I really do commend uh, Jim for putting together a great system for us, and I would continue to use as much automation as possible. I think we, one of the things, one of the concepts that I use is critical mass in terms of there's a certain critical mass that it takes to run any company. And the county is a company. I think my department is close to critical mass right now. And um, in terms of continuing service to the county, I can probably continue for a year or two um, doing what I've been doing, but there comes a point when you're processing $3 billion in transactions a year where I think the taxpayers want to make sure that I'm doing that safely for all of us. Um, so automation, efficiency, working together, cross-training, do it. All right, thank you. All right, so now, Walt, starting with you, this one actually is looking forward. As you look beyond the current economic crisis, what changes would you like to see in the services you deliver? The changes I'd like to see is, is, is how we do it differently. Uh, there's, a, there's a new vision about uh, the services I deliver, and, and as we continue with the automation and innovation of, you know, and taking on new ways of doing vehicle vessel licensing, their online licensing is continuing to grow. Uh, E-recording uh, allows us to do electronic recording of real property transactions. Um, those things are coming online, and I think as we continue to do that, I think even elections is moving toward online. We've already got online registration, <coughs> online voter pamphlet, online uh, video, video voters. So everything is coming into an electronic age, and we're moving with it. And I'd like to stay ahead of it so that we can be prepared to do that <coughs> in a very efficient way. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'll uh, talk to Representative Siegel. Uh, <laughs> I think that it, we could, I, I mentioned earlier the, uh, the most labor intensive, the most expensive thing that we do in the assessor's office is that physical inspection. You know, certainly any of you that's uh, looked at Google Earth and, and all those sort of things these days and all the satellite imagery that's available to us uh, would suggest that maybe we really could use some, we don't really have to do that exact physical inspection the same way the statutes call for us to do it. I think, we, I think we'll see the ability to take advantage of technology there. And we, we do need a little statutory help on that right now, but uh, I would say that would be one of the ways in my particular job that we could uh, save a, a good bit of money if we could uh, be able to you know, not necessarily have to go out and physically visit you know, 20,000 properties, especially all those out in the very remote areas of this county, you know, it's sort of silly in, in a way. Thank you. Um, our citizens deserve the best public safety that they're, uh, that they're willing to pay for. Uh, and we have to engage the citizens in this dialogue of what do you want? I believe we're going to have to have a conversation about consolidation of services, much as the fire departments have, uh, how we can use economies of scale, we're going to have to engage more the, the public, uh, use our volunteers. We have several hundred volunteers already used that help supplement and it's the only way we get the job done today. Uh, Technology has made a tremendous factor in why I've had reduced staff and we're still able to do that. We have computers in the cars and there's a number of other technologies that are on the way to the future. I predict in 10 years <coughs> the policing will be done dramatically different. However, it's still a people business. At one in the morning and you're getting a call for help, you have to have enough people out there to respond to handle the problem. Thank you. Great, thank you. So one of the things that I talked about in terms of um, skills that I brought to the county is I've handled the banking business for a long time and it's something that I can do quite well. I also wanted to um, help influence with my financial management experience, influence some other things that are going on in the county. And one of the things you actually spoke about, consolidation, government is actually going a different way. Um, when we um, form new entities like cities, we actually expand government. And it's going exactly the opposite of what business practices are doing. Yes. And I'd actually like to see what I can do to work 
to make sure that do government doesn't do exactly the opposite of what private business has done, and we actually use services for the taxpayers effectively and think about the impact overall to the taxpayers. Thank you. Uh, looking ahead at what we can do when this situation is over is what we've already been doing uh, in the past. We, we, there are many things you can do that don't necessarily cost more money, but to provide more efficiencies, and one of those is the use of technology. Again, we, we, we do imaging. We handle a million pieces of paper a year. We now image those. Before, we used to have large places, but we put those onto images in our paper documents. We put them back. We've gone back and put them onto images. We've also <coughs> have already done clerk e-pass. That's where any place in the world you are, you can call up on the internet, contact our office or any other clerk's office in, in the state and get a certified document. Uh, we, we helped out people in Europe and stuff. We need certified documents. You can get them within hours. We just put jury, uh, our jury summons. You can fill out your jury summons online now and saving you money as well as the other type of thing. So continuing thing that we're soon is we'll have our images on the internet so you can put them up and then the long-term goals to do e-filing.